Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to easily draw a realistic cartoon of yourself, your friends, or anybody. You can do this on Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Draw, or even Procreate. There's probably a bunch of other programs you could use too, but I, re I highly recommend having a drawing tablet or iPad Pro with a stylus, but if you don't, that's fine. You can use uh, just a mouse on a computer on Adobe Illustrator if you so desire. Please note that I did rush through this drawing and your results will vary with practice and how much time you spend on your design. To start things off, import your picture of your choice you would like to create into a realistic cartoon and transform it to the size you desire. Then turn down the transparency anywhere between 70 and 80%. Next, add a draw layer on top of the picture of your choice. If you're using Adobe Draw, I prefer to use the basic taper brush, but you may use any brush you feel comfortable with that can draw nice lines. I then like to make my brush 100% black and then turn all the pressure sensitivity off while I do my line work. Start anywhere you want on the picture and begin outlining. Don't worry if your line isn't 100% accurate and don't be hesitant to undo lines and redo them to your liking. Outline every line through the artwork separating each color and any harsh lines and facial features or clothes and so on as I do. If you're new to this, be patient as it can take some practice. Also, don't worry how the drawing looks as just line work. It will all come together in the end. I'm going to speed this up and I'll catch you guys when you're done lining. Now that you're done with that, it's time to do the hair. Hair can be complicated when you first start depending on the hairstyle. Try just following the flow of the hair in the photo and color in strands as I'm doing in the video. This can take some practice so don't be discouraged. I'm going to speed this part up. It is now time to begin adding color. First, duplicate your drawing layer and make sure that the photo layer in the background is 100% visible so you can see the full colors. Then make sure you're on the draw layer on the bottom. Then select a new brush and begin filling in the drawing. Select the color selector tool and or eyedropper and begin taking colors from your photo and then filling in your drawing where appropriate as follows. If your color is not to your liking, you may always manually alter it. Duplicate your line work layer again and place it on top of the color layer. We are now going to create shadows. I do this by selecting a new black brush and turn the opacity down to about 20 to 30, depending on how dark I want the shadows. 30 would be dark shadows and 20 would be a bit lighter. You may always change the opacity to your liking. Then turn off your color layer so you can see the original photo of yourself or friend. This part might sound a bit complicated, but just watch as I do. Begin sectioning the drawing with your opacity brush based on what parts of your original photo are dark. Some photos will require lots of shading and others won't. Turn your colored layer on periodically to check your progress and to check if your shadows look proper. It's time for the final step, highlights. I begin by duplicating the line work yet again and creating a taper white brush with pressure sensitivity on. I typically use 10 opacity depending on how intense the lights are. Turn your colored layer off again and begin drawing in the bright white areas of the image as follows. Now 
You should now be complete. Remember that practice makes perfect and the results can differ based on the amount of time you put in. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will surely reply. Other than that, you can find me on Instagram in the description below and check out my other videos and subscribe for more tutorials and speed art.